Uh, hi everyone, I'm Kirsty Yates. I work at the Australian National University and I work with producers, um, so the farming community and working with them to help them develop new innovations on how they manage their landscapes and, and to help them improve how productive they are, how resilient they are and, and how profitable and, and easy they are to work with. So today we're going to be talking about biogeochemical cycling of matter. So what on earth is that? <laughs> so let's break that down. We've got the bio, which is the biology so it's the living part the geo is the earth so so what's coming out of from below our feet and chemical is about the interactions and the processes that happen between different elements and compounds and, and other matter what, what we're going to talk about is, is, is about the processes that, that lead to the cycling of different matter and energy um, between all of those different components so just like a car we need a bit of a kickstart and a source of energy so for earth and for our plants and all the living things around us our energy originally comes from the sun plants are pretty clever in that they convert the energy from the sun into sugars and then they use that to um, those sugars to to help them grow themselves and they share those energy that energy with other organisms who either eat the plant or they share it with um, organisms in the soil which we'll talk about in a little moment um, but it's a, it's a pretty clever process and so anywhere that you see green this process um, of what we call photosynthesis so this really important conversion of solar energy into energy that we can use into carbohydrates and sugar is happening around you so how does this process work plants will take uh, the solar energy they'll also take in carbon dioxide and they'll take in water through their roots and they'll convert they'll, they'll use that energy and convert um, all of those components into uh, carbohydrates or sugar so rather than um, how we get most of our food where we pop down to the supermarket or to the local store plants create their own food from from the resources that they can find around them um, as they create their energy they use that to to start growing um, to, to maintain their life processes so they can continue to function but they also use those that energy to trade with other organisms in their environment so plants are pretty clever and down in their root system what they'll do is, is share those sugars out either as liquid that comes out of the roots that we call exudates or they'll form friendships really close friendships with other organisms where those organisms live within their roots and the plants will share um, those sugars and carbohydrates and those other organisms will give them nutrients and, and other resources that they need to survive.